Hello lovely viewers, welcome to Eben Tech Studio. Thank you very much for watching my videos on YouTube. Before we begin this video lesson, I would like you to click on the like button, the subscribe and then click on the notification bell to get notified of every content we put online. So in today's video, we are going to look at how we'll be able to create your own song lyrics in free worship. So if you are a user of free worship, then this video is for you. And then how you'll be able to upload Pentecostal songs in free worship. So a database was built for a Pentecostal and charismatic churches. So this song database would contain local songs for Ghana churches, um, which are charismatic and then uh, Pentecostal or any other local song um, church. So it's also have English and then um, other foreign songs with um, our own local song, which are ideal for our worship service and our praise service so without wasting much time if you have got this zip file downloaded double click to open it drag the content to the desktop to extract or you can click on the extract to and then you select the location where you want to extract the content to so then you click on ok so i've already done the extraction here is it on my desktop so what you do is that you open up the folder select everything in the folder using control a or you can do whatever um is best for you to select everything and then you choose okay to select everything so we have make a copy of it you can use control plus c to make copy or right click and choose the copy so let's close it and then now let's come to free worship so with this my free worship um i have no song in here i have no song over here so my database is empty and then I want to upload this Pentecostal songs in there. So first of all, I will click on tools. Now, mind you, if you are already having song lyrics in there and you follow these steps and you do it, nothing wrong is going to happen to your existing database. This database will be appended to the, um, to the old one you have or the existing one. So click on tools and then manage databases. You can see I don't have anything in my database, no song. And then I click on open in Explorer. I open up the songs folder and then I right click and I choose paste. You can also use control V to do your paste. So now our files are being copied to um, the songs folder. So it's done copying. So once it's done copying, we can see our files in our song folder. We can close this window and then close this one as well. So our next step is just to um, click on the tools and then choose reload database. So now our database has been reloaded and refreshed in free worship. So what we do next is that we can search for songs like it's a glorious church without sports and wrinkle. So this is one of our songs. We can go live. So I've customized my monitor or my projector to be at the top left of my laptop screen. So, um, so you can have a view of what is being presented to the congregation. So I have it over there. Now what I do next is that I search for other songs. I double click. Double click on the suggestion and then you'll be able to go live. So the other songs and then all the songs have been organized in verses and then choruses just to make it easy for the presenter to, um, I mean, use it um, easily. So one thing about free worship is that when you have gone live on any song or any verse or Bible, it will automatically select the next verse content so that you can just use the enter key to be selecting, um, to be sending the, the verse to, uh, to the live screen without having to double click on it. So you see the one in the orange color is the one which is live and then the next content to be projected is the one in blue. So you just hit the enter key to move to the next. So now let's come to creating your own song and then adding your own song lyrics. 
if you have uh if you have these database and then you don't have there are some of the songs you might not uh, maybe you, you might not see them in it um you can just click on the two so you want to add your own song to it and then you choose create song so if your songs are in verses enter them in verses so use the enter key to move to the next line and then if you want to move to verse two double enter just to and then enter verse it will create it will complete it and then make it verse two now enter your lyrics in here double enter and then enter your chorus as well if you want chorus just enter it will be given a color code of blue so that you can enter your chorus or easily identify it by the colors so once you are done let's add maybe verse 3 you double enter to give um to move to double next line and then you enter verse 3 so as soon as you enter the verse it gives you the number it has the number to it so now let's move to giving it a title and then when you are done you click on save to add a song to your database and then you can search by that same title so let's click on cancel i'm not going to add that one i click on yes i exit the window so thank you very much for watching this video and um you can contact from the email or the whatsapp or the telegram to get access to the database thank you once again for watching the video and stay blessed bye